So how's it going YouTube? So, during the coronavirus I decided to show off my indoor garden a little bit. This is my banana tree. And excuse me if it's a mess around it. You know, it is the coronavirus. We're stockpiling stuff. I shouldn't have even showed you how big of a mess this room is. Normally it's spotless, but you know, you gotta stockpile rice and stuff. So I've had this plant about three years. It's a dwarf Cavendish. You know, I lived in the coldy, rocky mountains, so it didn't do very well for years. And now I live in a warmer climate, so it's growing a lot better. I live in Phoenix now. I used to live in Flagstaff. This is my new one I bought out here in Phoenix, Arizona. From Lowe's. It's a Musa. Double Musa, which is, um, it grows two heads of two or three heads of bananas there's some of my other indoor plants I have a snake plant or no a spider plant back there it's changed color quite a bit it gets direct light so that's my baby musa as you can see it's a different plant than my cavendish so the cavendish has gotten pretty big it hasn't been destroyed or wrecked by my animals in about six months or so, so let me actually think about that. It's probably been since August since it's been damaged from the sun moving out here, but it's actually doing really well. It takes a very long time for them to get big. This one, as you can see, let's see if I can get you some size in there. There's a juice container. That's some new nutrients my friend gave me that I'm going to start giving them once the new dirt. I used Patio Plus dirt from Home Depot. And I put coffee grounds and eggshells in there, but I just repotted it from a pretty big pot. I had to break the pot off of it. But as you can see, it's quite a bit bigger than the juice container. Definitely like three feet, maybe, you know, four, or almost five with that leaf standing straight up. As you can see, it's gotten really big. It's gotten a nice trunk. This leaf right here just died, exposing the nice new green branches. You can tell maybe it's a little dry in here, the air, maybe it's, uh, the soil dries out. So it's getting some yellowing. It's got some damage from me moving it around. But it's a really nice plant. It didn't seem to take direct sunlight very well. When I moved here, I tried putting it in the sunlight. Now we get some in the morning. Back to my new one. That's a new leaf since I've had it. It's doing really well. My palm tree isn't doing very well. It had spider mites and it spread to the leaves i had to spray it with uh, canola oil to try to get rid of the spider mites it's still got some bug problems like i said normally the room's a lot cleaner yeah i got this plant up here someone just gave me that they're moving got some of the other plants right here it's a nice one right there so a lot of these i don't really know the name you can go ahead and fill it in in the comments but I have a basil back there. So I'm hoping my palm tree, if I keep adding soil, it'll do a little better. It's like a majestic palm. The new leaves are doing great since I put new soil in it. I also got a little fern plant in there with it. Whoops. Let me see here. There you go. And as you can see, these leaves are really, really big really healthy you get some air movement from the AC running Let's see if I can get a better view I mean it really looks this is from up above it does get really nice green tint it does get decent enough airflow so it looks decently healthy so yeah that's my Cavendish. 
it's taken this long just to get it to survive, you know, damages to get this big. Usually it has to start over, it gets knocked over, broken in half, something. So it's the longest it's gone. So I'm hoping, you know, it's getting about a year old, this trunk. I'm hoping next few months it'll start flowering. Maybe I'll get some bananas or something. And with a bigger pot, I'm hoping that it spreads more and it starts to grow more tops. And it does a lot better than it did. But I've babied this thing for years. For years. And I finally got these three feet leaves. Three foot leaves, you know. Really beautiful plant. So I hope you enjoyed. Till next time, guys. Happy gardening.